Hello, my name is Jona Ineris from the University of La Laguna and I'm going to present the work entitled University Studies and Professional Skills in the Field of Integrated Water Resource Management, the case of Spain. This paper summarizes and reviews the main qualification at university and professional level related to water resource management in Spain. We will start with a brief introduction. Knowledge of water resource is a broad and interdisciplinary and thus different approach can be taken according to the specific aspect under study. Research into, into water resource can provide information on water quality or availability, resources management and regulation, exploitation methods, natural hazards involving water, such as water erosion, drought or floods. In Spain, training in the water cycle and water resource at University 11 has been traditionally disparate with different disciplines focusing on their specific competencies and professional qualifications. Consequently, the water cycle can be studied from perspectives such as study of surface water bodies, their use on water-related natural hazards and their impact on population, evaluating and management uh, of groundwater uh, resource or new water technologies such as water salinization, wastewater treatment or wastewater reduce. Regarding the university studies related to the water cycle and water resource management in Spain, Spanish universities offer uh, different studies related to water science and technology. They are classified as technical or undergraduate engineering studies, higher or postgraduate engineering studies which are gradually disappearing in the Bologna process, current degrees and master courses. With the European higher education area implementation in Spain, university training is being homogenized with eight semesters to obtain a degree equivalent to the European bachelor degree. The new degrees will use the professional competencies from the former technical engineers related to the specific field of study. In addition, it is also possible to supplement the degree with a new postgraduate scheme including official master providing professional competencies and the chance to study a PhD program or non-official masters providing training according to the academic and functional priority of each university. Existing masters related to water resource are focused mainly on one or more of the next specific areas, water quality treatment and purification, water importance in rural areas, and water resource and water cycle economy and management. Students enrolled on master must have previous training, specific training on professional experience in order to be able to take a reasonable advantages of the postgraduate studies. The main studies and professions related to water resource and water cycle in Spain are civil, mining, agricultural and forestry engineer, environmental science and geology. Civil engineers is probably the profession most related to water cycling in the urban areas from the point of view of infrastructure and management. It has competencies in water resource planning, civil works related to water resource and exploitation of the water resources. Mining engineers mainly design groundwater supplies and address the problems produced by groundwater on civil works and hydraulic uh, infrastructure. The link between water resource and study and studies of an uh, agriculture engineer is mainly related to the water requirements of crops, but also the design and management of irrigation and drainage systems, the study of soil water content, the water quality for irrigation, and the pollution of supplies by agriculture or livestock activity. Regarding water resources, the syllabus for the forest engineering qualifications includes hydraulics and hydrology linked to torrential episodes in natural areas such as woodlands, water erosion and torrential catchment including soil conservation measures, and river engineering, facilitating management and restoration methods. Environmental science syllabuses related to water resource focus on pollution of surface of subterranean water bodies and their management as well as assessment of the environmental impact on these resources as a consequence of human activity. As in the case of mining engineering, a geology degree is noticeable linked to groundwater bodies, although geology syllabuses provide scientific training in order to perform resource prospection and emphasis on hydrogeological risks. Some of the qualifications, such as industrial engineering or chemical engineering, comprise training and competencies related to water resource 
comprising design of waste water treatment infrastructure, water desalinization plan including the design of equipment and facilities, as well as water pollution evaluation. Obviously, qualification related to economics can transversely complement the technical study of water resources in this field. Regarding the teaching methodology related to water cycle management in the European higher education area, in general, the teaching processes are developed using the following didactic methodology. Lectures aim to present the fundamental concepts related to field as well as providing complementary information uh, sources such as reference or notes used by the student to promote independent learning processes. The problem solving methodology seeks to work in a practical way the content of the subject. This process can be developed by traditional methods in a standard classroom or using the information and communication technologies and specific software related to water resources. The seminars are focused on a specific content which helps to improve students' motivation in the technical application of the subject studied, whereas the field work seeks to provide uh, direct and um, practical training on uh, to students in the use of field devices and set of instruments typical in water resource engineering. Traditionally, uh, teaching methods are being replaced by digital techniques that enable a better understanding of the complex issues that are covered in the Master of Engineering or Science. Available tools cover a wide variety of approaches ranging from documentation repositories to information platforms that allow for a more student-teacher interaction. All these technologies are available to achieve the 2.0 stage and public college and universities should adopt it in so that they can adapt to a changing world. Summarizing, there are several approaches to study the water resource which require interdisciplinary training. An excessive proliferation of four-year degrees with different profession qualification is of service nowadays. After the implementation of the European higher education area in Spain, former higher qualification have the same level as degrees. Consequently, a drop in the competitiveness of Spanish company has been observed because the staff with second cycle study is evaluated as degree. There are postgraduate programs which may complement the training obtained through the current degrees like official masters. In Europe, there are lifelong learning programs such as the European Master in Climate Change and Restoration of the Graded Land program, RECLAND. This is an innovative educational product which demonstrate the significant benefit of enhanced technological collaboration on climate change and degraded land web-based application. This work has been developed in the framework of the Regland project. It was funded by the European Union under the lifelong learning program Erasmus program. Some information, additional information is provided in these, these references. And if you need some more information or you have any question, you can contact us in the mail provided. Thank you very much.